Now then, it's usually a term associated with women, but an increasing number of men have admitted to worrying about their biological clock. There's also been a rise in the number of men choosing to go it alone and using surrogates to have children as single dads. So, is the male biological clock something all men feel? Roman, I'm going to start with you because you're the puppy of the gang. Yeah. <laughs> is, this, is this something you've thought about? Um, I think, like, uh, for me personally, life is, like, well, for me, it is just about, you know, having kids and, and having a family. You know, I want more than anything to, to be able to be a dad. And I can safely say that, like, for the last, like, five years, I've kind of felt myself approaching 30 and thinking, oh, I really hope that I can have kids, so much so that I've, you know, gone and taken a fertility test. You know, and, and, and I'm very fortunate to say I can have kids. But that conversation alone, you know, going to the pub and saying to your mates, you know, what are you doing today? Well, I'm actually going to go and go and get myself, get my sperm count checked, etc. I was shocked at how many of my mates actually went, oh, I, I've, I've really wanted to do that. Like, like, should we all just go as a group and do it? So, group, you, so you, you were basically the party popper that got everyone going. <laughs> yeah! yeah. Well, that's a strange <laughs> 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 a good turn of phrase. Yeah, <laughs> but I, I do, I do think that you know men, men do worry about it, and, and rightly so. You know, there's, there's a lot of statistics on it. You know, it, between 1973 and 2011, sperm count fell by 52 percent. 52. 52. That's and huge. That's, do you know what I mean? Like, like, and that's you know within the last 40 years. We've got to loosen our undies. Yeah, <laughs> surely. No, but I, I do think it's something that low key men do worry about at times. You know, certainly you're talking about biological clock. That's the thing that that I worry about, you know, being someone that, that is yet to be a dad, it's, it's what I want. Uh, Johannes, you said mm -hmm. uh, during the break that, yes, you want kids, yes, you, you probably will have kids, but just not yet. Not yet. Because like you've I still mean. got a lot to achieve I and you want to be a 24-7 dad. Absolutely. The financial security, that's what I'm after. Yeah. So that I can be at home when my, come, my child goes to school and comes back, I want them to know that I'm there all the time. I would, have, I would struggle. Yeah to not know what my child is up to and where they are and what they're doing. I, that is why I say 24-7. So you would rather put all the hard work and effort in now and then have kids at a later date, knowing that you are financially secure and that your child will be able to grow up in a happy home with Absolutely. you waiting hand and foot on them? Absolutely. Absolutely. But most importantly, like, I wouldn't just be comfortable with letting my kids out of my sight. That's how mad I am. <laughs> yeah. No, like, you know, like, uh, my mother. My mother was there, and I understand the importance of a parent being there 24-7. You understand? If, I, if it wasn't for her, like I said, also, I wouldn't be here. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. So okay. I would struggle. What, what about you, Mike? The biological... The male biological clock, do you think it's a thing? Um, it's, it was never something I was conscious of, uh, but then, if you think about it, all I... All, my was always planning on how old I would be and how old they would be. So, you know, I always looked at it from a fatherly role, wanting to be outside, wanting to be active, wanting to be able to play with them, wanting to be able to do all this stuff. So that was the only way I sort of looked at the end of my biological clock, is you don't want to be the 70-year-old who's picking up his 8-year-old son. I just remember when, when, when our first Phoebe arrived on the scene, it wasn't so much the biological clock, it was a switch in me that kind of, I became a hunter-gatherer. I'm like, right, I've got to go out and graft. Mm -hmm. Do you know what I mean? I've got to go and get everything set. I've got to lay the foundations of this new family. And that's, yeah. that's the thing that I felt as well. It was really weird, and, and I physically felt it, and mentally felt it, that, right, I've got to get out there, I've got to start grafting, to the point where I think our first anniversary, I missed it because I was out interviewing steps at Birmingham's, <laughs> at Birmingham's <laughs> NEC. <laughs> I bet that went down well. Yeah, woo! Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I still hear about it to this day. <laughs> Many <laughs> years later. Did it change your career? Yeah. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> but exactly. But those are the decisions yeah. that you think that are going to yeah. change it. You know, we, we, we work in a fickle industry, so yeah, you yeah. kind of think, if I miss this, someone else could do it, and then they could be replacing me on this, that, and the other. You just never know. So I kind of... Because we're not work shy, you've got to go out and grab it, I think. It, 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 it was a weird one. I really, really felt it. But the, the biological clock, so what, what are you going to do now? Roman, are you going to have another... T How often do you go and uh, have a test? Well, as I say, like... Uh, Don't say know. every week. No! Because that's no, a problem. No, no, that's what my dad is saying. Is there a freezer with <laughs> your name on it? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, th but that's the thing, you know, I, I haven't taken the step, so, you know, to the point now where it's like, OK, you can, you know, freeze your sperm, but more and more men are doing it, you yeah. know, and, and it does, it's... It, it costs a bit, but as I say, there are companies out there now that as I know there's a lot of like biotech startup companies that offer that as a service to new employees. Yeah, you know, and, and I think it is something that men think more about. You know, and it's Definitely. certainly as you know, we look at even after the pandemic. I think people have looked at family time 
in a far different way. We, we adore family time, even more so mm. after the pandemic. You'd think that we'd want to get rid of each other, but, you know, studies show that, that after it, we want to do less work and more family. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. and it's great that we can talk about it around a Perspex table.